Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have this beautiful girl with me um, and as you can see I've already shaved her down. I'm going to go ahead and put a before picture um, of her up right now and um, as you can see she was just really matted. Her family didn't like to brush her because she didn't like it but that kind of causes a problem. So anyway I've gone ahead and I shaved her down for y'all to see but what I really really wanted y'all to see was her ears. Oh my goodness, that is the worst year I have ever seen in my life. Um, I've worked at a vet, vet clinic for a long, long time. This ear is infected. Um, it's been left with all that hair and junk in it. The wax has built up and made like a wax ball. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt here to try and at least somewhat get this, um, I don't even know how, like get this out of her ear. And her family says that she absolutely hates to have her ears even touched, does not want you to mess with them at all. And guys, that's a sign. That's a sign that your dog is just um, something's wrong. I mean, you should be able to touch, touch your dog's ear. Now, when I told the owner all about this, she said the previous groomer that she was taking her dog to um, just never pulled ear hair and th that's something they just don't like to do well guess what this is what the result of that um sweet baby girl here is just having a really rough time of it her head she keeps shaking her head constantly she's trying to get it out you know her ears need to breathe so that way it does not cause an infection um you just need to go in there i know it seems like it's a little painful for the dog but um the end result is gonna be your dog feeling a whole heck of a lot better. So just get in there, get a little tweezers, try not to pinch the skin, cause that will hurt, but um, get some hemostats and just pull the dog's ear hair. Now I got, finally got this one out and I'll show you in a second. Um, here it is. That is a hard ball of wax and hair. That's so gross. I wouldn't want that in my ear. <sighs> gross. Oh, good girl. I have to give her lots of praise and stuff because that was a struggle. Um, and now her ear is ready for the actual cleaning and just getting rid of the rest of that hair. Um, the same thing goes for the other ear. I mean, look at it. Oh, that is so wrong on so many levels. It's just disgusting. I mean, look, look, just touching it. And I got wax all over my finger. Ew. <sighs> Poor dog. Poor girl. So first I'm going to go ahead and try to get some out with the clippers, but you know, it, it's just a struggle. I don't want to clip the ear. I don't want to nick the ear. So um, I'm just struggling here. I think the best result is probably going to be just me trying to get this out with just some hemostats. She does not want me to... Um, she does not want me to pull that ear hair, but it's just because it bothers her so much. And guys, I know she looks so much like Jolie, but she is not Jolie. <laughs> um, this is just another one of my client's dogs. So I'm going to take these hemostats and, and that's how you do it. I mean, you just go slow and steady, slow and steady until you get what you need out. Um, you know, you can only get a little bit of a time anyway, because if I tried to like just grab that whole entire thing and yank it out, that dog's going to bite me. I mean, it is, it, the dog can't handle it. So just little bitty bits at a time to set this big wax ball of hair free. Um, and we'll go ahead and get it out in a second here. I'll go ahead and get it out. Look, That's like a ton of hair right there. Sometimes I use the ear powder um, to get this out, but today I'm just going in because it's just, it's just so much. If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more transformation videos. i um, got a few coming up you're really going to enjoy. So um, here it is. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> it's like a nugget of wax and dirt and debris and uh. And that is the before picture of her ear. It's pretty gross. And now I'll show you the after. This is after I cleaned it. And um, she's still going to shake her head and everything. 
but this is after I cleaned it. Come on, girl. And it looks so much better. And of course, it's still infected. She still needs to go to the vet and get some antibiotics for her ear. But this is a whole, whole heck of a lot better. Her other ear as well. And it's red. It's irritated from me digging in there and cleaning it. But it needed to be done. So I just wanted to go online here and share with y'all um, uh, this poor little baby girl's ear journey. And guys, all I can stress is just keep your dog's ears clean. Um, it's not that hard. Uh, they got ear rinse and if you can't do it, then take, um, your pet to a groomer who can and your dog will thank you for it. All right, guys, I'll put another, um, before and after picture up and, um, here's our baby girl. <laughs> She's so sweet. She could be Jolie's sister, I swear. <laughs> but there's the before and after picture, and she feels a lot better. See, there's Jolie. Told you it's not Jolie. <laughs> but she's a little bit bigger than Jolie. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.